Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. Today is my birthday, so I want to be giving out a special lesson for you guys and why I love this community so much. And today we're going to be talking about auctions and also imbalances in the market or stacked imbalances for you guys to look for trades and opportunity. So the reason why we took this trade or wanted to see prices going towards this yellow line was very obvious. We wanted to see this price going down here because it was a huge level of imbalance. When you're looking at a footprint chart, guys, what I'm looking at in general is this is right here is a candlestick pattern. These are candlestick charts. You want to look at footprint. Footprint is very important. Hidden agendas of what price is trying to do inside of these internal levels. So when you look towards your right hand side, these are your levels. You want to see your footprint chart to say, hey, is price going up or is it going to go to the downside? Why is this very important? So when we have auctions in the market, so I want to break it down for you guys right here. So let's say we have this candle right here. And I want to draw this out. So let's say we have a zero on the top here, but we have a 10 on the very bottom. So let's say this is your footprint chart going like this. And you're going to divide it into sections like that. So let's say right here, you have a 10, you have a one, you have like a two here. Okay. You have a three and then you have a four. It doesn't matter about the numbers, guys. I just want to explain something very, very important here. You got a two here. And let's say you have a four here. These are a lower numbers of course so you're looking at a lower time frame why is this important so this is what you call an unfinished auction when you see on the bottom right if this is a bullish candle let's just put this into perspective if this was a bullish candle on the bottom right if you see a number right here guys and this right here is called unfinished why is this important because there's a high probability that the next candle or that price over time will come back and finish this auction right here this time but on the top here, if it's a zero, this is finished auction. That means price does not have to go back up and fill any orders up here. But when you look on the bottom right, if there is a number, that means this is unfinished. So price over time, we don't know the exact time, guys, but we know that over time, the price will come back and justify itself by hitting that level. And then you can look for support and resistance levels to start buying and selling from these key levels, guys. Why is this important? Because people take trades off of these major levels. Now, going back to the top version, let's go to the top right here, guys. If I have a level here, let's go like this. And the top bar over here has a number. So let's say this was a bearish candle, guys, and price is falling towards the downside. So I'm showing you the imbalance of the footprint right here, guys. So price is falling. So let's say we have a stacked or stacked imbalance, but more or less. And let's say you have an unfinished auction on the top right here. Let me put it in text so you guys could see a little bit better. So we're going to go to a thousand right here. So that means what? There is a key level on why price can go towards the upside here. Because why? We have a thousand unfinished orders in that sense, okay? Or people that took the orders, but these are unfinished. And we want to see a zero on the top left and a zero on the bottom right. This is very important once we have this high level number and you'll see how price plays as long as you're playing with the footprint chart, that price will travel back towards that level. And guess what's going to be acting as a key level of resistance. This is where we look for our chalk change of character, break of structure. We see key informations that price is getting weaker, that the buyers are getting weaker and the sellers are trying to come back in. You can use your volume delta. You can use a lot of these key informations for price to continue a little bit lower. When you look at stacked imbalance, it's more than three. You'll see three of the same imbalances. So if I see a key stacked imbalance, so let's say we're going into this level right here and I'm going to draw it in for you guys so you can see. So we're going to go, let's say we're going to put in 500. Okay. And I'm going to put 500 here. And then I'm going to put another 500 here. And you guys are going to see what I'm trying to do. So if I do this, um, you know what? I'm going to clone it for this one. Perfect. And let's say the top numbers here were just ones. One, 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 one. So when I look at stacked imbalance, remember guys, price is going left, right, left, right, left, right. This is very important to know how to look at a footprint chart and where the sellers are versus where the buyers are. This is important because when you look at stacked imbalance, you see there's an imbalance going towards the left to right hand side. And these are stacking and you can see there's three in a row. That is a huge imbalance in the buyers. The sellers had a huge amount of orders on the left hand side. These are the ones on the right. This is a stacked imbalance. So that means price does not have to go all the way towards the top to mitigate this unfinished auction. 
It can actually mitigate within this huge order of stacked imbalance. So that's the very important. I am going to do a huge topic on this, guys. But more or less, the people that do message me, I'm going to give 30 free lessons to every single one of you guys who have messaged me first. I want to make sure you understand this concept and I want to make sure you win in the market. So please feel free to comment down below whatever you want to see the next topic to be. I want to help you guys grow and learn to be a better trader yourselves. And this is how I started. I want to give you that extra foot forward so you guys could do the very own or the very same. So when we go back into the structure, when we talked about this, let me go all the way back so you guys could see the chart, how it was and how we talked about what price is going to do. I'm going to go all the way back so we could get the key data that I did delete just so you guys could see for yourself. So let's go right here. Perfect. So we were here in price. We seen a huge imbalance or we seen auctions in the price. I didn't mention to you guys that there is a key level that price can shoot up. But as long as it respects it, we can see slowly a push back down. What am I looking for? I'm looking for these levels to be hit. But right now, slowly, price is being absorbed. These are key levels. If you did sell and you did find your key levels of selling, and this is where you enhance your take profit sections and start to rebuild your idea or your trading idea by, you know, exiting some positions and letting the rest run. Do not let 100% of your trades run, guys. Take partials. Take the idea of taking 50 or 60% of your trade because in order to be doing this long term, you must be able to take profits. And that's what I do see a lot of people struggling looking for the holy grail. Omi can absolutely be the holy grail or any coin could be the holy grail as long as you understand how to trade it, exit your positions and be able to enter again and again. So guys, if you like this type of video and you do enjoy what I put out today, please make sure to like share and subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much. And remember guys, it's not financial advice. This is my advice on what I do and what I provide towards all my students all over the world. Other than that, thank you so much. Take it easy and John out. Peace.